Hello, Kage. We will talk about flying rail. How to use this? Why is it important to be used? What results it will give? This is my example. I found, actually I found the topic how to use flying rail uh, in website. But to illustrate this better for you, how this works, you can also I decided to make a video tutorial about this. Also, I just was thinking how to select angles in Cinema 4D. Okay, let's get back to work because I have to show you how to s create this thing. We will, uh, I saved my thing, we will close our thing, and let's get started. What we need, our object called flying rail, I, I will make this thing bigger, we need a polygon object, I have to scale this, it has to match our uh, flying rail object. Don't forget to convert this. In new version Cinema 4D we got PBR shader, but I don't need this because I won't, I will not be rendering my polygon object. Okay, our object must be subdivided. If I subdivide, the deformation will be much better. I will use value 4. I could use smooth subdivision, but I... Hmm, actually... I could use... Okay, another thing, I just wanted to make this little bit smoother. Ir iron. Oh, this is cool feature. I just want my cube to look quite nice. Uh, you can also add a new tag before we will start our topic. I will add fong tag. This make this will make your object even smoother. Okay, now let's uh, focus on our main topic. We have to draw. Oh no no! I will be. I will draw some Eric's flying. Oh, too quick. <laughs> Sorry, I I was drawing too quick. Okay, nothing should be selected. I think I should save my thing. Just in case if something goes wrong. I do not something to go wrong. I do not want my program to quit suddenly because I would have to do everything from the beginning. Cinema 4D actually works. It's a very stable program, but there is no perfect program which could work without any issue. Sometimes crashes happen. This is common, unfortunately. But I think this is one of the most stable software which I used. This is my opinion. A similar is Blender, which works perfect. But sometimes can crash. Because none of the softwares are perfect. Okay, you check this mode unlimited. This option is to go with adding our flying, but at the moment I have to draw a couple of them because I must explain how to use them. And one of the top splines deselect because if you deselect, you will create separate spline. 
Do not attack many segments because we won't need. If you hold your uh, left mouse button like this, you will make Bezier curve very smooth, which is necessary for our deformation. And I think I don't need more curve. Okay. In this case, our modifier must be go to rail object first. I, ha I have to make sure I do proper order of each modifier. Mm -mm. Or polygon object. Because at the moment it doesn't work. It's not because of me. I dig. I dig not. I dig in something. I dig not to do something wrong. I have to check which way everything goes. Hmm. I think. I think I must put everything on the top. Okay, I think what I do... Oh yes, now it, our deformation has started back. I didn't expect that suddenly. Okay, I have to check something. Because our curve it's not exactly... It's not exactly what I need, wanted. Mm. Yes, but if I just get rid of this clear okay I have to oh yes what I have to do I have to get a couple of things yes I got my spline deform but something is not working right I have to check each curve. It's supposed to behave a little bit different. Okay, this curve works okay. We check curve deformation. Sorry, dear users, my mother suddenly came to my room. Okay, this curve works fine. Yes, what about the rest? What about the rest of our objects? And okay, I have to focus on this one. I think this is because I have to place my object in that way. You know, it's not actually that difficult. Okay, and... I have to get... Uh, I have to really see what is going on here. Spline suddenly has changed its position. This is my current spline. What if I change order? No, this is because we need 
่ดีไฟไงโอเค I think I already got now we can modify not only shape we can modify this okay let's check this curve oh it's beautiful I never seen such beautiful deformation what if we use scale okay I need to find out if I can subdivide curve in this program mm, how do they do this in this program mm, it must hmm no is this okay it looks something like it, it, I think it is what I needed in blender you can something give like curve object okay let's go Let's do this. I think I have to focus. Does this have segment? No, it doesn't have segment. Oh yes, you have to select the vertices. Because I want my deformation to be quite beautiful. Mm. Wonderful. This really amazes me. This tool. Oh, you can create complex by using this. You can create complex shape. Wow, this is beautiful. I never actually, dear users, I never used this feature in Cinema 4D. Let's check on our last spline. This will be on the top of our object. I have to see how this object will be deformed. We have to... What if I leave this object here and I will define... I don't know if I will be able to use this. Hopefully. No, 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 it has to be put here. Hmm, but I already defined it. No, I have to do as program tells me. Hey, Cinema 4D, what are you doing? Oh, it's flying too. Yes. I selected already. Okay, now it should work our go object. Hmm. Aha, yes, this is... What about this? Yes, what? What's wrong? I already am taking... Maybe I cannot select more objects, but this object should work. Okay. Hmm. It, it's flying walk down. Top I already selected. So I don't really know what to do. Can I have the gate? Maybe I should rename. For some reasons I cannot really get this thing working. I have to change something.
Oh yes, now you have to add Logifier once again. Mark Cal, I got the way Cal Logif, Cal Care the gas not work. This must be bug because it should work. I already added. Yes, I have to clean. What if this doesn't work? Clear and try again because all their curves work okay. Nothing should be wrong. Hmm, spline rail? Yes, what is who did get or my object? Okay, what I can do? Let's check. Mock the part. I didn't finish this video tutorial. I will add this flying Vodcom. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. What does this do? I, I received the funny results. Now I cannot really... Don't forget you still modify your cage. Still important. Why, why this goes like this? This is... Maybe this is like flying rail. Probably this is to do with flying rail. Ah yes, I can understand now. Okay, now what I do? Last thing to consider, I don't like shortcut keyboards here. Uh, this is my fault, because I probably used the wrong direction. This tells you exactly where splines should be allocated, but it's too late for me to modify. This should be bottom. This should be top. I get a little bit frustrated about how Cinema 4D works. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful modifier. I'm very happy after learning how to use that kind of modifier. It's really, really cool stuff, dear users. Uh, last slide. Yes, now I understand why this was important. Oh, there's another thing! Wonderful! I didn't know this deformation will be... Oh no, this really amazes me. What? What I was thinking to do? What if I... What if I subdivide this uh, now but now I try to set up I try to do some modifications. This is amazing, I didn't see this in figures maxing and in blender. Try to do your own modification but Last step, what I wanted to do is connect objects to delete. In all the version of Cinema 4D, it was almost impossible. And you can you can make mathematical representation of objects. I hope you like this video. Bye.